Today we're going to be taking a close look at the infamous Jumping Viper, more specifically Atropoides olmec. As with a lot of snakes, there's a lot of folklore that surrounds this species. As the name suggests, many people believe that the snake can jump. Some have even stated that it can jump up to two meters in the air and bite you in the neck. Let's go ahead and decipher if any of these claims are accurate. Warning. All venomous snake handling in this video is performed by a professional. Please don't try anything you're about to see at home. Hey YouTube, how's it going? Venom Man 20 here today. And today, on the table in front of me, we have the Omelec Jumping Viper. These guys are found in Central America, and just like the name implies, these guys are capable of jumping. It's actually why I'm keeping such a great distance from this snake, is because I really don't want him to jump up into the air and come down on my lap. That wouldn't be cool at all. Because as the name implies, Viper, these guys are venomous. I'm actually contemplating how I'm going to get the hook out of strike range. That was not a good place to put it. <laughs> Let's get serious, guys. These are called jumping vipers. The reason they're called jumping vipers is because they're a heavy-bodied viper who strikes really hard and really fast. So fast that they're said to actually be able to get airborne slightly. Just slightly airborne. So... Of course, how people always tell snake stories is they sensationalize it. They, they blow it way out of proportion, and now all of a sudden this guy can jump six foot in the air and bite you straight in the neck. It's just not true. About the only way I'm going to get bit by this snake in the neck is if I put my neck out here trying to get bit or fall on him. It's just not going to happen. I mean, I am kind of klutzy. I guess I could fall on him. But I'm not going to put my neck out there for him to bite. But, uh... <laughs> Everybody loves to sensationalize snake stories, and it's a real shame because then the snakes are looked at as evil and bad, and it's just not true. This guy doesn't have a mean bone in his body. He's just a chill little viper. But these guys, although being heavy-bodied, are actually relatively small. This is a yearling, so this guy's still pretty young. I have a couple more I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you a two-year-old, and then I'm going to show you an adult female who's actually grabbing him. Pretty sure she's great. She's got to be gravid. She's gaining weight without eating. She's got to be gravid. Anyway, uh, that's going to be pretty awesome. I will show you the babies if she has them. Hopefully she has them. Everything turns out well on that. She has gave birth before, so I got my fingers crossed on this one. But this species of snake actually has, or I should say genus of snake, has five species. From my standpoint, they all look pretty similar. They're actually pretty hard to tell apart. So I have uh, another two species I could show you, but really you're just, oh, that's the same snake. It's not, it's not the same snake, but it almost looks the same. I, I could see how you could get confused on that. But although this snake is called a jumping viper, and in the video thumbnail I might have showed you a viper flying, or uh, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with the thumbnail yet, but it's probably something slightly sensationalized. I am working on a video series of about five, maybe six videos of different vipers that I truly do believe can fly. They're the fastest vipers on earth. Uh, they strike faster than mambas in my opinion. Uh, really to put them side by side, who cares? If you're getting struck at by a mamba or this viper, don't worry about which one's faster. Just get out of the way. It's not a good place to be. Like it really doesn't. I don't think anybody who's been bit by a mamba is gonna come back and be like, oh, trust me, a mamba's way quicker. You know, no one's been there. We, we don't know. But they are very, very fast. So hopefully you'll join me for that. I'm going to be uploading these videos every Tuesday uh, until I run out. I will let you know when we're getting close. I'm going to start with the slowest, but it is the prettiest also. Just drop dead gorgeous animal. We're going to start with the slowest and move our way up through the genus until we get to just a crazy, crazy snake. It's, it's going to be amazing. I, I can't wait. So uh, hopefully you guys are excited for that. But let's get back to these guys. Let me show you the other two individuals. Hopefully you enjoy them as much as I do. Let me put this guy away. So this one's a little bit bigger. If I can find her. There she is. I need to move this down. There we go. Hey, sweetheart. This one's actually two years old. Can I move this without you springing? Or the tub falling. There we go. Hey, sweetheart, how are you? Sharp, pretty. Absolutely gorgeous snake. Sometimes video doesn't really do them justice. So I will be posting some pictures on my Instagram. You can go over there and check those out if you want to. 
I might also post them. I'll probably link them over to my Facebook. So if you're on my Facebook page, my Venom Man 20 page, you can see them there. But this girl's just a little bit bigger. Uh, like I said, about two years old. Just a good looking animal. She's not in shed. She's drop dead gorgeous. Let's go ahead and look at the big girl, the mama to all these. Sure, you're saying to yourself, but Venom Man, that just looks like a piece of wood. Well, yeah, but this is where she sleeps. And we got to be very careful because I'll show you in a second. Put my finger there. Hey, sweetheart. Sorry, guys, for shaking you up. You see how big she is? She hasn't been eating that good, so I'm pretty sure she's gravid. She gave the baby's last two years, so we'll see if this makes a third. I know she is. As big as she is, she's got to be gravid. So I'm sure you'll see an update on her very shortly. But uh, that same Midwest hook, I'm not going to poke or prod her. But as you can see, she is quite a bit bigger. But nothing too big. That's pretty typical of size. Like She's, a, she's your average size adult. Very, very beautiful. And if you're wondering about the venom of these guys, they're not extremely toxic like a lot of the vipers. They're a little bit more mild on the toxin side from my understanding. Venom yield's actually pretty big for the size. An animal this big, I'm pretty sure could drop me if everything went wrong. Now, yet again, you can't really judge it like that. That yearling could possibly kill me. You know, everybody reacts to venoms differently. But this girl, as big as she is, as big of a venom yield, she could probably take me down. But uh, I, I hate to say this because I don't know 100%, but uh, I would kind of relate it to like a copperhead. Like a copperhead could kill you, but in theory, it shouldn't. You should be okay working with copperheads. But she's huge. Like She's about to explode. She's about to drop. And if I'm wrong, I've been wrong before. Uh, heck, just the other night, I stopped for a tarp strap because I was pretty sure it was a black snake crossing the road. <laughs> Comes to find out, it wasn't. So uh, all my friends made fun of me, laughed at me. It was great. Um, I didn't think it was all that great because I was really excited about the snake. But it wasn't a snake, so who cares? Uh, <laughs> but uh, she's huge. She's got to be. And, like, look right there. Like, right along here. She was not that big even three days ago. Like, she's getting huge. That's just awesome. They don't have a very big litter normally. Eh, sometimes, like, eight little ones sometimes just one it's kind of hard to tell but uh just an awesome awesome snake but anyway i do appreciate you guys checking this out uh make sure you check out some of my other content uh i will also be uploading videos on friday as well as many fridays as i can of just other little snakes like little cobras or possibly the Gila monsters it's making a real loud noise in the background if you can hear it and uh, we got plenty of other snakes to show besides the bothrops so stick around for that Anyway, uh, I do appreciate you guys checking out this video. Hopefully you learned a little bit about jumping vipers. And y'all have a good night.